πήραν την άνα με υποκρισάνο Με χρόνο θα πανίσω περί του You must be the one Pericles sent. I am. He said there is an ostracism vote, but didn't tell me what I'm here to do. Of course he didn't. That's what I'm for. If someone is exiled, can they return? If they do, they'll be punished. What does someone have to do to be ostracized? Anyone seen as a threat to the city or the people is enough. And then it is up to the vote. Some have been ostracized for simply being more disliked than the person they're up against. What's my role in this? The votes have already been cast. We don't have long before they're counted. Take the Ostraka in this bag and exchange them with the ones currently under guard. You want me to rig the ostracism? Pericles does. And he has his reasons, I'm sure. Bring me the bag you took from the room and I'll take care of the rest. No one will see me go in or out. Stay here. Goods from all over the Greek world. You wouldn't think the city was besieged by an army of Spartans. Whoa. <laughs> ah. Best to stay out of sight. I should take a look. Stay together and watch out. You're a joke! Any sign of them? Nothing at all! Well then, keep looking! Right! Eyes open, sir! You! Hold it right there!
That should do it. I should let Pericles' contact know. It's done. Hmm. You work quickly. What are you going to do with them? Dump them in a well. Ah, it looks like the official has arrived. I apologize for the delay. There was evidence someone attempted to tamper with the votes. Don't worry. The Ostraka are all accounted for. The votes were counted, and Araxagoras is to be ostracized! Be slow to fall into friendship, but once you do, continue firm and constant. It will be more difficult for me now that Anaxagoras must leave Athens. We were quite close, although he and Pericles were much closer. It's strange, Pericles wasn't here today to defend him. Would Pericles normally defend someone? A good friend? Of course. Yet, Anaxagoras seems pleased with the result. This day has brought more questions than answers. You said you were close. He was like a mentor to me. Many of my best thoughts came to fruition through our conversations. Who are you? Ask anyone and they'll tell you Socrates. But a name gives you nothing. Our actions determine who we are, and every action has its pleasures and its price. With that said, then, who do you claim to be? I know the price of actions. I have to as a mercenary. That simple piece of information tells me more about you than your name ever could. Explaining oneself must be carefully done. Explaining myself would take more time than I have. Then let us focus on a single recent event. Tell me, as a mercenary, is there anything you wouldn't do? Just because I'm a mercenary doesn't mean I'll do anything. Even if the pay was more than adequate for the task? Even then. What if you were offered something you desperately needed, something you couldn't get anywhere else? Would you move this line you've made for yourself? It moves when I need it to. A strategy for those who must be adaptable or for those who wish to justify their actions. I decide if my actions are just. You are clearly someone who would do whatever you feel is necessary, perhaps for Drachmi, or maybe to further a personal goal. That describes a lot of people. I suppose I'm curious why you did it. 
How could I not be when you're the reason my friend is being forced to leave the only home he's ever known? I did what I was asked to do. And your needs are greater than those of the man you helped ostracize. Still, you raise a fine point. Who is more responsible? Anaxagoras for getting himself mixed up in this? Or you, for simply sealing his fate? Fine, I'm more responsible. But I did it because I have one concern, myself. Then I hope you also think about today, about Anaxagoras, about choice. Socrates, there you are. Here I am. You're late. They're all waiting for you. I wish to see Anaxagoras' fate, and so I have. Tell them I'm on my way. Well, it seemed our conversation is at its end. Although I hope it isn't the final one we have. I wouldn't know. Don't want to be spotted here. Sorry about that. How did you get past the guard? No one gets past the guard. Relax. Pericles sent me. Ah, praise Athena. I knew he'd send help. I was worried they sent someone after me. He sent me to get you out of Athens. So he knows about the plot. You mean the trial. From what I've seen, you don't stand a chance. Ah, the people love me. I am the Fidias, but there are others. Look. Malaka. 
It isn't the trial Pericles is saving you from. These are instructions to murder you. Who wrote this? I don't know who to trust. I'm just an artist. I just wanted to create. Please, what am I to do? First, you need to pull yourself together. You're on trial. The people are against you. And now I find that the cult want to kill you. Uh... I said pull yourself together. Yes, of course. Cleon said you're wasting the people's rachmi. If he had his way, he'd serve them your head. Cleon mentioned me? That's going to hurt Pericles. First impiety, now theft. After all we've done for this city. You and Pericles seem close. For Pericles and me, it started with our love of Athens. Our differences push us to greatness. That is true friendship. All right, we need to go. Do you have any idea where I can take you? South of Athens, there's an island called Seriphos. My friend Theras lives there. When I discovered the plot against me, I sent word to him. If anyone can help us, he can. Good. Any clues he has of the cultist identities, I want them. Yes, yes, anything. A guard. I'll distract them while you sneak out. Meet me tonight to set sail for Seriphos. Don't show your face until you see me at the docks. I understand. You didn't think you could attack one of us and get away with it, did you? Come on and fight!
good. You made it. I was beginning to worry. I told you I'd get you out of Athens. So you did. Can your friend be trusted? Theras and I have been friends for a long time. I just sent word telling him where to meet us. Wasting time will only get us into trouble. Let's head to Serifos while we still can. That volcano? It's pretty hard to miss. Some say there is an entrance to the underworld at the bottom. And what? You enter by diving in it? That's the spirit! A brave Arcadian I once knew had the same idea. And what happened? The heat of the flames turned him to ashes before he made it halfway down. I guess some mysteries are best left unexplored. This is a nice ship. You don't have to do that. Do what? Build the silence. Oh, I wasn't trying to do that at all. I simply don't find myself traveling the seas very often. It can be freeing. Yes, freeing seems to be an accurate word. Although I've begun to feel a bit sick. Lean over the side if you need to. Otherwise, you're cleaning it up. Is your stomach turning as much as mine is? You'll get used to it. We'll reach Seripos before long. Get that sail up! You're quiet tonight, Varnavas. Sorry. Years ago, on a bright night like this one, my old friend Ralos and I were sailing to Samos. When we heard our names being sung out in the middle of the darkness, the song was so sweet, we forgot how to sail. Don't tell me. You saw the silence. Get your weapons ready! Oh! 
Ready! It's good to see you alive and well, Phidias. And you, Theras. As you can see, I didn't get here alone. Ah, yes. The kind and thoughtful hero you mentioned in your letter. If I wasn't getting something out of it, he'd be dead already. And for that heroism, I found some information on a man named Brisson who's plotting Phidias' early demise. Hopefully you can make something of this clue. I can. Please give Pericles my thanks and my farewell. And be careful. I still believe many in Athens are in danger. That's everything Pericles wanted. Time to return to him and find out what these Athenians know about my mother.
Alexios, it's you! Phoebe! You promised we'd see each other again, and now we have! I also said stay out of trouble. Which I have! Okay, almost out of trouble. How did you even get here, Phoebe? Well, I did make some draft me working for Marcos. So you paid someone to bring you to Athens? Not exactly. Phoebe... I needed a drachmi for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer. So I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. I just can't believe you made it. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby. But every once in a while, something feels familiar. It's nice. I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So, you somehow work here? For Pericles? No, for Aspasia. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but... You forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry. I'll take care of them. You don't want to scare people in there. Well... How is it you're working for Aspasia? Well, I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. I may have been a leader of a small group of orphans that tried to cheat Aspasia. We didn't know it was her, though. And you convinced her to hire you? No. She asked me on her own. That was lucky. I think I'm ready to go in. You can't. Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. I'll get changed. Promise you'll take care of my things. Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner, and I'll come back when you're done.
I feel uncomfortable in this. Now you look like everyone else. You say that like it's a good thing. It is. If you want them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. Trust me. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry. You've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling to think of any right now. Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. Here, Alexios. The mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made his grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotus. Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? They will, if you get them to trust you. And you've wisely dressed for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important part of being trusted, after all. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of their opinionated tongues. Ah, Sophocles and Euripides, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, Euripides. <laughs> it looks more like a lover's quarrel to me. Hermippos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Protagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasymachus. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh, he never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help with. Vile Socrates! Always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a time for jealousy, but for love. Let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good and don't drink too much. So, tell me, what does a Mystios like you think of a party like this? This is going to be a long night. Parties should be about vomiting up blood, not vomiting up poetry. These people are so clean. If these guests aren't to your own unique tastes, then just focus on why you came here in the first place. Thank you, Herodotus. Now, if you'll excuse me, 
Pericles is here somewhere, and I need to prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your sister said. Agreed. Pericles needs to know. I'll stay here and look for clues. I hope they know something about your mother. Me too. I suppose you've come in here to mock me for my fight with Evripides. Spare me. I'm only looking for clues to help me find a Spartan woman. Mm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. You could talk to Evripides. He's the second most worldly man here. That ridiculous Xanthodontus Exothalmic Morosov. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, you don't. You want to get every P this drunk? Are you hoping he's going to make an even bigger scene than you did? Ha! We both know that's not possible. But you're a feisty one, to say the least. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when every piece is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. How do you know Pericles? I believe you mean to ask me, how does Pericles know you? I am the greatest dramatist in the land, mentor to every piece, lover of Asclepios, father of theater, and so on and so on. I'm sure it's a real honor to have you hiding in his kitchen. I'll get the wine. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. Say for that arrogant playwright. I don't see many distinguished guests in here. Can I help you with something? I've come to get your finest dry wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. A new face in Pericles' abode! Ha! That in itself is a remarkable thing. You must have seen me doing my impression of Cleon. I call it the Orange Ape. Tell me, what does it think? I am called many things. It isn't one of them. What do you call yourself then, creature of many names? Alexios. I wouldn't peg you as an Alexios, but never mind. I'm Aristophanes, and this man is Evripides. Oh, go on, introduce yourself. I'm Evripides. For a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old Evripides likes to say. Don't you, Evripides? When I need to relax, I start to fight. For you, though. Quickly! Bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. 
You and Aristophanes could both use a drink. Let's play a game. A competition? Ah, wonderful idea! Every pity seems quiet, but he never turns down a challenge. Well, if you brought us some wine, I wouldn't be opposed to showing this young one how we are gives drink. I'm only here because I'm searching for someone. And yet it gave us the distinct impression it was here to fill our wine. Let's focus on that first, shall we? Why don't you just apologize to Sophocles? It's he who should apologize to you. Sophocles is a friend, and one good friend is worth an entire family. He just needs time to recover from his outburst. Pericles has invited all of you here for some reason. Either we dine here and praise Pericles, or we dine with Cleon. But Cleon has all the charm of a typical politician. A horrible voice, bad breathing, and vulgar manners. To the Onisos. This, this is delicious. This is nectar of the gods. Another round. How about some more? Where did you find this delicious wine? It must be Pericles' finest. You know what they say, good wine makes good friends. Why don't you just apologize to Sophocles? It's he who should apologize to you. Sophocles is a friend, and one good friend is worth an entire family. He just needs time to recover from his outburst. Ready for another? This is the best symposium I've been to in a while. You know what? I like you. Who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every Pivis, write her into a play. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. I should know it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she would trust priests. Oh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician, best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. I'll think about it. Hippocrates in Argos. Here I come. How's every this? Drunk, I hope. You can stop hiding in here. Every this won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? Heed this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Being so new to Athens and gaining access to this symposium is no small feat. Though you said there are things you wouldn't do, you gain Pericles' trust so quickly. I've made my choice. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued?
If you've been arguing this long and you haven't agreed yet, just give up. We're discussing the nature of rulers. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasimachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! This argument between you two is pointless. Perhaps. How do you define art? I'm not getting dragged into this. Very well. Answer this. Does the artist not give form and symmetry to her subject? Well, yes. Laws and justice do much the same for people, do they not? And is there any better way to communicate the story of a people than by revealing its customs and laws? If yes, then ruling, and thus justice, must be an art, as Thrasimachos says. If you say so. Aspasia. You shouldn't be too hard on Socrates. He really has a brilliant mind, even if he comes off a little strong. He isn't always like that, is he? Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him, and Alexios can help. Everyone listens when he talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Alexios will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. Your spies have been watching me. I knew you people couldn't be trusted. We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. These may be the nicest clothes I've ever worn, but I feel a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now, and do it discreetly. I'm searching for a woman who fled Sparta with her child years ago. I was hoping you might help. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests.
Alexios! I didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. Aspasia told me to come find you. She wants you to come down to the party. Uh, she says I don't interact with our guests enough. But these parties aren't for me. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erodos and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> Phidias was awaiting trial, but you had me get him out of Athens. I figured you, of all people, would want to follow the law. Phidias is a very dear friend. I didn't want to risk him being found guilty. And, of course, there were other threats. So you knew? I know he's delusional, but... One day, when you have a friend you'd do anything for, you'll understand. Why send Meteochos to the fishing district if it's dangerous? I would never have sent him into danger willingly. It seems you have many loyal friends. My people are important to me. Your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Erodos was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future. The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming. And they're bringing their strongest weapon. Listen to him, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. I'm related to one of the cult members. And I believe her when she says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. I'll be sure to let my men know regardless. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. Only of conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need a weapon after all. Are you leaving? I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? There's a woman in Corinth I'd like to talk to. I've heard about that place from Alcibiades. 
He says you don't go there to talk. Alcibiades says a lot of things. He sure does. Before you go, I heard something from Aspasia. About Kefalonia. What is it? She said there was some sort of plague. You don't think... My friend, the blood fever. Don't think like that. Whatever happened on Kefalonia isn't our fault. I'll go myself and find out if this plague even happened. Okay? Okay. Thanks. I knew I could count on you. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Bye, Alexios!